or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, but it's the, the Boonie Gamer. Welcome to another death battle. Welcome to another death battle between Sympathoth versus Vigil. Um, the Final Fantasy versus Devil May Cry. So, uh, I think Virgil's from Devil May Cry and this guy is from Final Fantasy. So, I have seen the skills and weapons they have, what they can survive, or like, or whatever they can do, and everything. I am not, I don't know any of these guys, but I am not going to vote for this one, because I don't really know these guys, but, well, further, let's just start the, let's just start the battle, let's get to still at it, and, and ignoring the noises that's from upstairs, ignore them. just watch the video, you guys want to watch it on HD? I'll put the link. I'll put the link of the video description below. You, you can watch some powerful. HD if you want. I can see it. Who are you? Good animation. Man. Your despair. Huh. Despair. Hey. They told me he's like, he's really fast. I'll be fast than He does have a healing factor, but he feels fast. It's like what we're doing. Like we'll like we'll like and the size of his sword, it's seven. Okay, it's seven point two feet long. That's how long. This but are is. you fast enough? Oh. Oh. I suppose it can't be helped. He can handle wounds like that. He can handle those wounds. He makes clones of himself. They're fake. Yep, they're Stop fake. wasting my time. God about this. Oh, guys, he does this. Super Nova. Super Nova. I saw you could pierce the fabric of our dimension, so I cast an illusion to disguise this. Witness Oblivion. Can he handle illusions? That was These brutal. Two were extremely that was powerful so brutal. Swordsmen, but Sephiroth's cunning and stronger abilities led to his victory. Wait a minute, I thought the lore said Virgil's sword could cut through anything. Why didn't it cut through Sephiroth's sword? Yamato was a unique weapon, but its legend clearly exaggerated. 
On multiple occasions, it's clashed with Dante's Blade and even a common rocket launcher without cutting through either, and sometimes requires an exuberant amount of force to cut through tougher material. But let's discuss the real facts. Lack like strength! So Virgil with Beowulf could do 720 million newtons, right? But there aren't a lot of good semi-strength yeah. feats to compare. First, let's compare Sephiroth to a fellow first-class member of the Soldier Fighting oh. Force, who had also oh, been this, experimented was on with Genova Self, Ugh. Zach Fair. Ads, go away! Do I hate ads? You can't see me. I need you to read so I can like see these freaking ads. Well, so much for that. I can play the video too. Who had also been experimented on with Genova cells, Zach Fair. Remember him? He's the Nut Cloud guy who fought that dragon. At his peak, Zack could cut through a large metal door with one swing, seemingly with most of his strength. Given the size and width of the door, this feat's sheer strength comes out to 980 million newtons. Wow. And Seth was way stronger than Zack. In fact, if we look at their strength stats when they fought that dragon, Sephiroth was three and a half times stronger than Zack. Putting Sephiroth's strength output at over wow. three billion newtons. That's almost as much force as 30 Hiroshima bombs. Strength isn't everything, though. Virgil was technically faster than Sephi, but Sephiroth has handled people of similar speeds before. Plus, Sephiroth could survive plenty of hits because his healing power is broken. The capabilities of Virgil's healing factor was nearly unprecedented, but it had its limits. In contrast, Sephiroth's healing abilities were only limited by his pool of magic, which was unlimited. Well, he also had to take some time to cast each healing spell, but that's why he distracted Virgil with his illusions. We know Virgil was susceptible to illusionary and mental attacks, as it's happened to him multiple times and even led to his in-canon demise. And Sephiroth's illusions could hide his ultimate technique. Yeah, Virgil's healing was pretty awesome, but it was never gonna hold up under an exploding sun to the face. Virgil put up a good fight, but he couldn't match Sephiroth's superior strength, magic, and techniques. Looks like this devil's cried for the last time. <laughs> the winner is Sephiroth. Good job, Sephiroth. Hey, I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. I'm Ben, I play Wiz. If you want to get the fight music for this episode of Death Battle, just click the link in the description and you can pick it up on iTunes. You can fight get music. music from Thor vs. Wonder Woman, Naruto vs. Zichko, a bunch of Death Battles. And if you want exclusive commentary on this episode, then click that box right over there in the corner. Thank you so much for joining us for Death Battle Season 4. We're excited to show you some awesome episodes next year in Season 5. Season 5. Aw, oh, man. I'm so eager for this. You shush. Cats me out. <laughs> so, my thoughts about it. It was, it was a good death battle. It was a good fight, I would say. But good job, Seth Fire, for winning that. I wait until season five until next year on February 8th. For more for more death battle ideas, of course. Just look for fans to keep giving them ideas of death battles and everything. But there's so many death battle ideas on the internet right now. So many. So many. So that was Death Battle Step 5 vs. Virgil from Final Fantasy vs. Death Metal Cry. So, thank you for watching. Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, run give it on. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!